1978 Ford Mustang King Cobra. And many of you who have the King Cobras or the Cobra 2 have this fake hood scoop. I do too. It sucks. Ford should have made them functional to begin with. But they look pretty, but they do not function. So this is how your hood scoop is bolted onto your, your hood. If you've ever wondered. So these are studs. There's a, a nut on the inside. There are four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, and on the back of the hood scoop, this is the hood scoop. And it's a plastic, hard plastic-like material. It may be fiberglass, but I'm willing to bet that that's plastic, not fiberglass. So this is the hood scoop. And what I did in order to figure out where my hole's gonna go, just remember that the air intake is to the passenger side, so it's left of you if you're staring at the car. Um, it's not lined up directly, as you can see with the bolt holes. And you can see that's my little pilot hole, the top one. So what I did was put this little guy right here. I shut the hood and made a tiny little mark with the tip of this, this screwdriver or screw. You can use a shorter one. That might be a little bit more accurate, but close the hood and make a mark. And then I drilled a small pilot hole as my starter, because I'm like being super timid about putting holes in my car. So that's my pilot hole. And then I tied a string to this. And so what I did was I made sure that this screw and that string are identical right where my my pen is so I can draw a circular a circle on my hood so here I'm gonna mount this thing and <laughs> do this. This is the scoop. Hmm. Let's see. How can we get a good view of this? Hmm. My apologies. So just FYI. Respirator. It'll save your life. Okay, I'm cutting off this lip here. Grinding wheel, I do have a Dremel, a little bit more control with that. This will make quick work of it. So here we go. Okay, so this is the final result of the So that is open, and I'm cutting a hole currently in this stuff to reflect the intake right there. Now this little guy, this does not sit flush on the hood, so that, I didn't sand that at all, I left that because I think that that is, that helps this thing, you know, have some stability. So you definitely do not want to sand this, this piece because it doesn't restrict airflow at all. There's actually, I can put probably two fingers up in there. So, but I'm cutting my matting. This I pulled out of a junkyard. I don't really care, but I kind of like having a little bit of deadening mat in the engine compartment so it's not too loud. So that is the end result. I am gonna go get um, some plastic trim, you know, the lip trim right here and just kind of seal that up. So in that way there's no sharp edges, but I sanded that out pretty good and touched it up with a little bit of black paint, um, a rust cure kind of paint so it won't rust. 
and that is the intake on the 78 Mustang. So if you want to watch the whole video, be my guest. But for now, that is the intake functioning hood scoop. Yay! Oh, and I will be putting a screen up in here. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go find some plastic screen. Probably glue it up inside of the, the deal, so I'll have to remove this one more time. But for now, working intake. Alright, so this is after I added a handful of things. I did end up cutting the sound deadening material. And I also, so this plastic trim here, this is trim that you can get for the doors for your cars at AutoZone. Um, for a handful of strips, that stuff is, I think I paid $3.99 for two strips. And so one strip didn't quite completely cover the entire inside trim of it, but at least it covers the, the cut edge. And the other thing is too, it leaves a lip here. And so hopefully with a little bit of rain, you know, that's coming in, especially when the car's sitting. Now when the car's driving, there might be rain that comes in through this way. But when the car's sitting, it may actually help to hit this lip and the hood has a peak to it that runs straight through the center, so which is right about here, because remember, your air cleaner is to the left of the center of the hood, so that is how the hole wound up looking. So that actually, to me, looks pretty darn good. And then I also glued a screen, so I got the screen. I don't know, can you see that screen? I may have to drop the drop the hood but found the screen at Lowe's and what I did was I used Gorilla Glue and I glued the screen to the top of the intake you can see the screen inside here I glued it to the top of the intake and then I just bent it ever so slightly flush with the scoop and then once I put the scoop on and tightened it down, it actually molded to the shape of the hood because there's only a slight bump right here that lifts up a little bit. So the screen was actually flexible enough to mold to the hood, so it's pretty firm in there. Um, I don't think anything's going to be getting in there, leaves or, you know, bugs or whatever. My scoop also is facing the crowl, so the point is for this one, air hits the windshield, the crowl gets sucked right back in, it does work and it works great. You can actually hear the motor breathing. Um, we took it out for a, a ride this morning. So that is the end result of the open functional air scoop. Again, at some point I'll end up getting a little flap, like a garage door for the scoop. Um, but for now though, I've got the screen and that seems to work okay. The screen's inset a little ways, so you can't see it unless if you're actually like ducking down and looking for it. But that is a functional air scoop on a 1978 King Cobra. Yay!